Hello folks, my name is Marvel Master and I welcome you to another video of the Witcher 3 modding tutorial series. So in this video I want to explain how to create your own custom icons for any item in the game. So let's begin. First thing we need to do is create our folder structure for our mod. So I will head to my modding folder which is called Mod Witcher and create a new folder there and I call it uh, icon mod. So inside that folder we create two folders. One will be icons for the icons we will edit and another folder will be XMLs because inside the XML files we, we um, call our icon paths. So next step is we go into icons and create our path. Um, the icons are not uh, cooked or, or, or packed or unpacked. They are stored, stored in texture cache files. And for this reason they have a special um, path and we create this path now. This path is gameplay gameplay new folder GUI new. Inside this folder all icons are stored and just for um, better viewing we create another folder in there called icons. So inside this folder we will put now our new icon. Therefore I recently took a screenshot of a sword I recently edited in the game and I want to make it an icon now. So first step I open it with an um, editor software like um, Paint.net. Paint.net is a really simple editing software and uh, easy to understand. So now I get a bad screenshot of a sort here and I have to make it an icon now. So the first step now is to make the background transparent. So therefore I choose the erasing tool and just erase the background. I don't give much attention to this now because just for tutorial purposes. So now I erase the background and the next step is spinning it by 90 degrees so it's aligned the right direction. Next step is making it the right size because Icons in the game have the size 64 by 128, at least um, sword icons. So now the icon has the right size and maybe we... Maybe we spin it a little more like the other icons in the game. So that's okay now. This icon um, is really nice now and we want to save it in our recently created folder which is in mod widget. Mm, where is it? Icon mod, icons, gameplay, guy new, icons and I save it as custom icon and we have to set the file type as PNG so hit save save it at 32 bits hit OK and we are done with creating our new icon so now you see in our mod widget folder we got our custom icon PNG in the right path. So now we can go on with the XML. 
we have to uh, edit uh, the XML file where all sorts are described. For that we firstly need to get this XML file which is in our uncooked folder in gameplay items and in this case I want to uh, replace the icon of uh, Steel Griffin Sword level 1 so I'm looking for a special XML which is Dev Item Crafting Weapons so I copy this and I remember the path gameplay items now I head back, back to our mod witcher folder icon mod xmls then I create the path that I remembered which is gameplay items and inside here I put this xml now I open this XML file and I said I wanted to edit the Griffin Steel Sword Sword Level 1. So I do a search. I search for Griffin Griffin Steel Sword. Here we got it, Griffin Steel Sword Level 1. So the icon path is described uh, down on the bottom here and uh, I don't know why but this XML this XML begins reading the icon path just behind just behind uh, guy new so icons is the first folder that the XML reads as you can see and because our icon is stored in icons and is named custom icon png. I just copy this, open XML again, and as I said, our icon is stored inside icons and is called custom icon png. So now we are finished with that. We can save our XML, close the editor and head back to our mod witcher folder and to our icon mod. So now we uh, are finished editing our icon and uh, editing the XML. So now we need to um, pack um, these files into a mod. I already prepared um, the code for that and we will paste this code into a new text file we create now. Create new text call it pack all my stuff open it and in here we will paste all the code that will be written below the video too so just a short explanation of what these lines mean um, the first line is just the path to your Witcher 3 official mod kit where the VCC Lite application is stored. The next um, is um, packing the XML files into a blob bundle. The next um, line is um, or the next two lines is cooking the icon and creating a texture cache file because I previously said icons are stored in texture cache files and the last line is um, creating a metadata store file because um, the Richard 3 game needs this metadata store file to realize that this is a new mod so when you are using this code you need to have to uh, of course edit your paths um, the right way as your paths are and um, don't worry um, let me see um, this cooked folder will be created inside your modding folder and um, this packed folder will also be created 
inside your modding folder. So just edit these lines as your paths are. So uh, now I have uh, pasted all the stuff in there and I save it as BAT file. So close it, delete pack all my stuff, txt and the BAT file we can click on and it will automatically run these lines of code. This might take a few seconds or minutes. Um, I see you again in a few seconds. So our VCC light has finished and a packed folder has been created. Inside this packed folder is our mod folder. We just copy it, head to our widget 3 mods folder and paste it in there. And then we start with the 3. And um, we will now see if our modding has worked. So here we are. And what we need to do now is um, load our uh, item. If you don't have it, uh, we easily can look inside our XML again. Um, let me see, XML. Griffin School Steel Sword. I just copy this and open the debug console if you don't have it. Download it. Type add item. Item. Griffin School Steel Sword. So this Griffin School Steel Sword has added, has been added. And now when I open my inventory, the new icon should appear. So there we got it. It is not very beautiful, but uh, you see it has worked. And now I can select it. And there I got the weapon I uh, replaced in another video. So now you see this is how you um, edit or create custom icons. What I did with this war today you can do with any item in the game. And as always if you liked this video tutorial give me a like or write a comment below. And I would say I'll see you next time.